this week I want to show you guys how I make this heart out of any paper currency. The currency that I use in this video is the US dollar and the Chinese renminbi. For the US dollar, the little quarter actually fit perfectly in the center. Pretty cool little technique, huh? Alrighty, let's get straight to it. I know a lot of people know how to make this, but I also know a lot of people making it wrong. A lot of people that I know don't fold the edge of the heart in, and that is the most hardest part and the most crucial part of making this heart. For those of you that don't know how to make this, let me start from the beginning. First, you fold the currency in half. Then you fold the paper to the opposite side. Be sure to remember to create solid crease. And fold the other end to the opposite corner. Next, you can unfold your first two steps. Now you can go ahead and pinch them together. Just be sure the two points of the paper lines up properly and then go ahead and just pinch the side to create a new crease. Once you've done that, go ahead and fold the paper side to side to create a base crease. The base crease actually helps make it easier for the next steps. All you gotta do is just open the pouch and flatten it. Mm, so far so good. We have one side pretty much ready and just go ahead and do the same to the opposite side. Be sure to create strong crease and make sure the edges lines up properly. For a small amount of paper on the pointy side of the currency, just work with one side first. You want it to fold it back and forth to create a very strong crease. Now the size of the paper to fold is really up to you. If you like your heart to be fat, I would suggest fold a small amount. You want your heart to be symmetrical, so go ahead and fold the paper together to determine how much to fold on the opposite half of the heart. Try to get it as even as possible. Be sure to fold it back and forth to create strong crease on the opposite side as well. Now this is the hardest part and also the step that most people skip out. Go ahead open the paper. Notice that there's a center line crease. Go ahead fold it down. And there's also the short line crease that we formed when we were folding back and forth. Basically, you are reversing fold to hide the pointy edge inward. If you do it correctly, it should hide the point perfectly and it should be very smooth. And go ahead and move on to the opposite side half. Well, let's watch it one more time because this can be pretty tricky. But once you get the gist of the idea, it's actually pretty easy. Ta-da! You see how the edge should be very smooth, nothing hanging out? Okay, now we are moving forward. Notice the center line creased. Fold one side of the paper flap to the center. Go ahead, open that pouch and flatten it. And just be sure the edge and everything lines up properly. Notice that there's another center crease in the smaller square and take that smaller piece of paper and fold it to the center and open that pouch. Yeah, it's a very delicate work. Just be sure everything lines up properly before you form the crease. Now go ahead and do the same to the opposite side. Okay, now we just got one of the four corners done. We'll just basically apply the same method to the rest of the three corners. Okay, now I have one side of the heart finished and now I am moving on to the opposite side. You can actually see the center flower starting to form. Now that they are finished, go ahead and fold the pattern side of the flower together. When you fold the paper together, you should notice there's some loose paper in between those two cards. It depends on what kind of currency you use, some of them actually fit perfectly, but as for the US dollars, there's always a little gap in between. 
and go ahead use this technique to shorten the gap. When you open the heart, pick any one of the two sides to fold the back. And this is the final step. Now you finish. See how much more realistic it looks just by making a small adjustment? As for the quarter, it's really easy to put it in. And it also fit perfectly at the center. Ain't it kinda cool? Eh, you would never want to go back to making the old fashioned way. I want to thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see you next week. May you be happy.